I have like a random computer question Do for you? you. Yes. Okay. okay, so you know I have retro pie on my pie right now? I have heard about this. <laughs> you know how you did that? Okay, so <laughs> is there a way you could undo that temporarily and then redo it again? Why would you ever want to do that, Sash? Well, because I'm getting married. And I need to do a playlist, and I think that that might be the best way oh. to play music, right, at the wedding. Hi, is that is that the best way? There I is a know. thing called a DJ. Okay, there is a thing called a budget. Okay, so uh, what are you thinking? Like? Okay, because I have random a, play well, of songs that you have selected. Yes, okay, because I have a Dance band. Dance Mix ninety two. Just push play. That's right. I, I have a I have a band that's starting for like the later part, but I'm just talking like the okay, background there goes music the of yeah, yeah. I hear you. Okay, so. Is yeah, that, that easy that or is work, that like... It seems like overkill, to be honest with you. Okay. Because you could set up a Volumio player and get it up and going, create uh-huh. a playlist and this and that, and then connect to it, push play. You got to set up a Wi-Fi hotspot. That's, I think... What's my, what is my best bet then? I think um, just like set up a playlist on your phone or something. Oh. Or just a, like an MP3 player. But to answer your question, yes, it can be done. What you could do is you could get a second SD card because okay. you wouldn't wipe it out and, and then have to reset up RetroPie. No, take out the SD card. It's just right. this little tiny chip. Put in a new one, install the whatever you want on it, and then just swi- switch them back and forth. So could I have multiple ones? If I wanted yeah. to do like, um, like a photo frame, mm-hmm. so it would be just like a display, I guess, like just a monitor really instead of a frame. Yeah. And then I would just hook it up to my Pi and have pictures cycling through it. But then yes. it could also just be my retro Pi when I want it to be. But again, now, see, I love the idea. I love where okay. you're going with it. Okay. For a DIY fun project. Yeah. But I've done weddings before. Uh-huh. I've shot w- weddings from like a videography standpoint and everything. Simplify. Make things easy on yourself. Okay. And what I mean by that is cat5.tv slash AGP tech the black uh, 1080p player, okay? Mm -hmm. It has an HDMI output, and it has a USB and an SD card slot. Oh, okay. All you have to do is stick all your pictures on an SD card or a USB stick, plug it in, push play, done. There's no setup, there's Mm -hmm. no, there's no risk of this is not gonna work if I can't figure it out when I'm supposed to be getting married today. Right. You don't need that. And you can't stress. come to Newfoundland to fix the thing. Newfoundland is a long walk. It's Canada. <laughs> there's part. Well, there's part swim to it actually. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's like a bit of a triathlon like a situation. Across. Yeah. It'd be fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, but that's the route I would go. All right. So that answered my question. You may have access to one of those because I just happened to own one. <laughs> I do actually. One second. <laughs> uh, okay, not that one. This one. Here it is. This is, so this cool. Is, this is what I'm talking about. This has never been opened, so I assume it's not an empty box. Here you go. This is exactly what you need. Okay. That's it. And just... USB. Yeah. SD. Nice. Either one you can use. It has VGA output, optical output, AV output, and HDMI output. Nice. So you just plug that into a TV. Done. Sweet. No setup. All right. That's what you want to do. That's what I want to do. Yeah. Cat5.tv slash AGP tech, but it's spelled with a K. AGP tech. AGP T E K. All right. And you'll see that below. All right. All right. Keep it simple. I'm gonna. Don't well. stress. Don't add stress to your special day. Okay. Thank you. That's my trick. <laughs>